All right, students, we are on Lesson 24, Session 1, um, page 503 in Volume 2, Math Book. We are continuing working on multiplying fractions by whole numbers. So go ahead and turn to that page, and we'll get started. One serving of crackers is about three-tenths of the whole box of crackers. Bella eats three servings this week. What fraction of the box of crackers does she eat? All right, so um, there's several different ways we can do this. Um, I'm just going to add three-tenths three times. So three-tenths plus three-tenths plus three-tenths equals three, six, nine-tenths. So Bella eats nine-tenths of the box of crackers. You could have also drawn a model or a number line to help you solve this. Go ahead and turn to page 504. All right, on 504, um, right here, it shows where um, Bella is eating. So here's three tenths, here's three tenths, and here's three tenths. And so they, they show the box, so the square represents the box. And they divided the box into tenths, and then each color shows that when Bella ate three-tenths of the box each day, and so you can see that there's nine-tenths shaded. We can also do this by doing three times three-tenths, which is nine-tenths. So when you multiply a fraction by a whole number, the answer may be a fraction less than one or a fraction greater than one. You can use what you know about fractions and mixed numbers to tell between which two whole numbers the answer lies. Is the fraction of the box of crackers that Bella eats less than one whole? Or is it more than one whole? Well, we know that 10 tenths equals one whole. So that means if the number on top is less, then that's less than one whole. If it's bigger, then it's more than one whole. So that means that this is less than one whole. Between which two whole numbers is the fraction of the box of crackers that Bella eats? Well, it's not quite to one whole, so it's less than one whole. So it would be one and, oh, I'm sorry, zero and one. Okay, we're going to skip three. Let's go ahead and go to page 505. And we've got several words here that we're going to define. And most of these words are words that you've seen before, but we're just going to refresh our memory with, of them before we get started today. So when we multiply, we combine equal groups to find the total. And that might look like an array. So this would be an array that would represent 2 times 3 equals 6. A fraction is a number that names equal parts of a whole. So that might look like this. That's equal parts of one whole. The whole bar represents one whole, but we have three parts of it. And a whole number is a number that has no fractions, no fractional part, they are used for counting. So you could represent that with a number line. It would be like one, two, three, four, even zero. Okay. Right, number two. 
Complete the equation to tell the how the model shows multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Well, the whole number is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, because there's four of them. The fraction is going to be 1 third, because each one of these represents 1 third. And the answer is going to be 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third, which is 4 thirds. Let's go ahead and turn to page 506. All right, on 506, a family eats three-eighths of a whole box of cereal each day. What fraction of the box of cereal does the family eat in two days? So we can do two times three-eighths equals what? Well, when I multiply a whole number by a fraction, I multiply the whole number times the numerator. So two times three is six-eighths. And then it says to check your work. So um, the family eats, let's answer this first. Family eats six eighths of a box. You could have also drawn a model there. Now I'm going to check my answer because I'm going to do three eighths plus three eighths for like the repeated addition, which gets me six eighths. That's it for this lesson. I will see you back for session two.